Welcome back everybody to your data cleaning process. This video we are going to be talking about irregular cardinality. Now when we discussed cardinality in a previous video, we did discuss irregular cardinality a little bit. And I just mentioned how when you have odd cardinalities, things get more complex. Not odd as in an odd number like 1, 3, or 5, but odd as in really huge. So maybe I should have just said huge. Yeah, so if you have a huge cardinality, that's going to be an issue. But there are also some other cardinality issues that we need to discuss. So let's do that now. So first off, let's talk about what we already talked about. Cardinality, that is how many different values we have for a particular feature. So for example, age, well, you know, people can live to be like 130 or something, I don't know. So there's up to like 130 different values, right? But we might not have every single age represented. So we might have everybody from, 100, from zero to 100, and then we might have a gap, and we might have 117, 128. So we might have, you know, 108 different values for this age. We can go through a process called binning, which I talked about, and that's going to group these into categories. So you could have 0 to 24, 25 to 49, 50 to 74, however you want to do it. Or you could do it in 10s, so you could have 10s, 20s, 30s. You want to make the group big enough, but not too big. <laughs> For example, if you just made it under 100, well that's just going to group everybody together and that's not going to contribute any extra value. So we want to go through a binning process for a large cardinality. But there is another cardinality issue, and that is when the cardinality is one. So for example, in our analytics base table, we might have a column where a feature is patient. And this is for a doctor's office, so it's not about how much patience someone has. <laughs> we have is patient, and then we have sex, and then age, and then all that other good stuff. Okay, now let's look at this is patient. Every single person in here has the value 1. So the cardinality is 1. Well, the rule is that if this is like this, then you just want to delete it. This makes sense because if everybody in here has the same value, it doesn't contribute any extra information on uh, correlating descriptive features to the target feature of whether or not someone had diabetes. So we just get rid of it. Another way to look at it is if somebody is a patient, can you tell me if they're more likely to have diabetes or not? No, you can't because every single person in here is a patient. That's going to make our process and our analytics base table a lot simpler. Another example is an incorrect cardinality. And this can actually sort of go into the invalid data issues where data wasn't pulled correctly from different sources. But I am just going to throw it in here because you might see it and I want to teach how to address it. So for example, we might have the column sex and we might have a bunch of rows and we have values like this. The issue here is that we have two values that mean the same exact thing. But the computer doesn't always know that. The computer will look at this and try to make decisions based on whether someone is an F or a female. The fix for this is to combine these values. So basically you do anytime there's an F you can just change it to female. Anytime there's an M we can change it to male. So we reduced our cardinality from 4 down to 2 which is the correct value. So that's all I got for cardinality. In the next video, we are going to be talking about something new, so please be sure to check it out. As always, I ask you dearly just to subscribe to this channel. I, uh, I desperately want to, you know, like take over the YouTube and such. So, yeah, could use your help. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.